கிறிஸ்துவின் இனிய நாமத்தில் ரூஹா எழுப்புதல் நேரத்திற்கு உங்கள் அனைவரையும் அன்புடன் வரவேற்கிறோம் உங்கள் ஆசீர்வாதத்திற்காக போதகர் ஆல்வின் தாமஸ் அவர்கள் கொடுக்க போகும் தேவ வார்த்தையை கேட்போமா to be praised the lamb upon the throne and to you we lift our voice in praise the lamb upon the throne for you are glorious and you are worthy to be praised today we need a breakthrough this morning we need a breakthrough for our life we need a breakthrough in our health we need a breakthrough every satanic attack every kind of witchcraft every kind of bondage we need a breakthrough today let your glory fall lord your glory when it is revealed will break every bondage release every captive free in the name of jesus in this service in this in this service Come on come on come on people people worship him call out call out on his name call on his name sing praise to him worship him worship him lift your hearts lift your hearts and worship there is a breakthrough that is coming don't let your hearts down don't let your faith down come on open your hearts and sing praise to the lord worship the king of kings worship him with all your heart and receive a breakthrough this evening this morning God says I have not brought you here without a purpose I have called you with a purpose I have called you to this church to be at this hour because I love you because I have a word for you Glory 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 somebody say the amen you are sitting in rua international church and in the international service amen somebody give me a loud amen somebody who's got faith to believe say amen god has a purpose for you that he has brought you here i believe there's going to be a breakthrough in this service for some people you need breakthrough in finance you need breakthrough in health you need breakthrough in your family you are at the right place at the right time because i believe This month is going to be a month that God's power will be revealed through his outstretched arm. Somebody shout amen. Somebody say God is good. How many times? And all the time. Somebody said amen. Let's turn our Bibles to Isaiah chapter 51 and verses 9 onwards. 
Awake, awake, arm of the Lord. Clothe yourself with strength. Awake, as in days gone by, as in generations of old. Was it not you who cut Rahab to pieces, who pierced that monster through? Was it not you who dried up the sea, the waters of the great deep, who made a road in the depths of the sea, so that the redeemed might cross over? Those the Lord has rescued will return. They will enter Zion with singing. Everlasting joy will crown their heads. Gladness and joy will overtake them. And sorrow and sighing will flee away. I even I am he who comforts you. Who are you that you fear mere mortals? Human beings who are but grass. That you forget the Lord your maker. Who stretches out the heavens. And who lays the foundations of the earth. That you live in constant terror every day. Because of the wrath of the oppressor. Who is bent on destruction. For where is the wrath of the oppressor? The cowering prisoners will soon be set free. They will not die in their dungeon, nor will they lack bread. For I am the Lord your God, who stirs up the sea so that its waves roll. The Lord Almighty is his name. I have put my words in your mouth and covered you with the shadow of my hand. I who set the heavens in place, who laid the foundations of the earth, and who say to Zion, you are my people. Awake, awake, rise up, Jerusalem, you who have drunk from the hand of the Lord, the cup of his wrath, you who have drained to its dregs the goblet that makes people stagger. You know, the Lord gave me the privilege uh, to travel to Israel twice in the past few weeks, uh, and what a joy it brought to the heart of mine. You know, when you go to Israel, you go to Jerusalem, you feel that is your hometown. You forget all your parental cards with all the towns in India. The moment you land there, the moment you breathe the air, the moment you step on the soil, you feel as if that is your hometown. You feel as if that is your ancestral property. It means so much to you. You know, given an opportunity, I would have stayed back. But God did not allow such a thing. He said, go back to India. So here I am. I tell you, there is such joy in the presence of God in Mount Jerusalem. Somebody shout Amen. You know, the Garden of Gethsemane is where our vision got birth, where the Lord spoke to us, where He gave so many revelations. Our freedom was birthed in the Garden of Gethsemane, right where our Jesus, our Lord Jesus Christ shed His sweat as blood on the ground and prayed for the salvation of the people and the nations. And I had the visitation of the Lord again. Recently, I had to travel again to Jerusalem because uh, Brother Paul, the Nagaran Jesus Calls Ministries, they were opening the prayer tower and I had the privilege and uh, got invited uh, by Dr. Paul to come and be a part of the celebration. I traveled with some of the top ministers of God many bishops and uh, some of the senior pastors. The father figures of Christianity were all there. And I happened to have the privilege to travel with them, to get their fellowship and their friendship and their blessings. It was such a divine encounter. And we all rejoiced in the presence of one another. It was nothing like, you know, I'm a big pastor and you are a small guy. Everybody was, you know, so friendly and such a wonderful atmosphere we had. And in the conference, we had the privilege of uh, Pastor Benny Hinn to come and minister to us. And what a joy it was. I tell you, Pastor Benny Hinn and all the other leaders gathered together, the entire family. I am the guy who was holding the ribbon and also taking the picture from this side. So uh, God gave me the privilege to lead the worship in the opening ceremony. And while I was leading the worship, suddenly I saw a small figure walking up the stage and I knew this is Pastor Benny Hinn. And what a privilege it was. I was literally trembling in my knees. My knees got started shaking. And the word of God he shared in the conference. This is the conference. And he shared the word of God about the anointing of the Holy Spirit was very powerful. That evening, the stadium that we were all in, 1,500 delegates and 250 pastors from around the world and so many dignitaries, members of parliament, ministers, uh, saints of God, bishops, deacons, cardinals, everybody was there. 
and the power of god rocked the place and god gave me the privilege to open this meeting the conference with the blow of the shofar the trumpet the only couple of people who were allowed to minister on the stage among the five or the hand few of them uh, we ruah ministries got the privilege to blow the shofar in jerusalem and pray for the nation of israel and india in the seat of the king of kings somebody shout amen sometimes we have such low self esteem we fail to understand how special we are we always look at our circumstances and decide who we are we ought to look at god and decide who we are we belong to the king of kings we are not ordinary people we are the royal priest to the chosen generation somebody shout amen and so as i was leading the worship suddenly something happened you know pastor benny in they said i want the people on the right hand side to come and uh, stand here in a line i'm going to bless them on the front row there were people who were sitting the foreigners were sitting all the white people were sitting i don't know god gave us such a revelation that he said not the white people all the indian pastors i want them to come forward i'm god wants to anoint them so here i am in the first line i'm standing on the right hand side he starts from the left hand side he is in a hurry he wants to finish the whole thing off he wants to lay hands and bless the people and release them and take off and he is going very fast he comes to me and he lays his hand and bang this this 150 odd kilos flew in the air like a thin paper and uh, there were five people trying to catch me but they failed thank god the anointing of the lord when it comes upon you you are no more heavy you become light as a paper and i flew in the air and i'm there and all the bishops everybody you know they were anointing of the lord i'm down and i'm crying and praying i said lord i have given up everything for you i have given everything that i have there is only one thing in my life to give and that's my life it's it's my life i give my life to you i dedicated myself i said lord this is the only thing that is left over with me i don't have anything else i just have my life and you know what the lord said my son i love you so much he said i am going to use you as the lord was speaking to me suddenly the man of god who just walked past by comes back and says pick up that man god wants to bless him and they pick me up and he says touch and i'm flying in the air again and five fellows they lift me down again he says now i want him on the stage he pulls me up on the stage i'm on the stage and he's preaching and he's now prophesying my god i feel the anointing right now he's prophesying over me and i'm i'm telling you the only three or four people who received the word of knowledge and word of wisdom from god and the moment i'm there i got the privilege to be the only i think the tamil guy who he prophesied and he spoke over as a bishop from lucknow he came to me after the meeting he caught my hand and he said pastor you received all the blessing in jerusalem he didn't say out of jealousy he said out of the fullness of his heart he said it looks like you came all the way this whole meeting was for you and for god to bless you i said praise the lord it was awesome it was awesome because he started prophesying and he started saying in the in the full view of all the saints of god all the top leaders of chennai and tamil nadu all the top leaders ministers of god were there and the lord said i am going to use this ministry mightily brother sister we are standing in exciting days i was praying for the tv channel i was praying for the new move of god i said lord without you i will not move one inch further if your presence does not go before me i will not go and this was god's way of proving and saying hey come what may what may happen whatever people say whatever happens around you now, after i got anointed i went and i could not walk i went and fell into the bosom of another wonderful prophet of god and he started prophesying over me and he said for all your tears your the days of joy are coming and the lord will lift you and the lord will use you mightily in the days to come this is not a personal prophecy it is a prophecy for our ministry for the vision that god has entrusted to us and this is the word you know uh, before i left uh, our prayer warriors who have started praying earnestly and they brought this word to me isaiah 51 and verse 9 they brought this revelation to me i was down and out i was tired in my spirit i was crying out to the lord i was asking the lord give me a sign that you are with me and this is the way of god to prove and say i am with you go forth in my will in my perfect presence say amen 
And this is what the Lord said. Awake, awake, O arm of the Lord. Was it not you who cut Rahab into pieces? Rahab in this context is not the Rahab which is in the wall whose house was in the wall. She hid the spice. Remember Rahab? It is not that Rahab. This is a different Rahab. This is a seven-headed uh, snake down in the pit of the sea. If you read uh, some of the um, people who are uh, involved in deliverance ministry, they will tell you about how in the depths of the ocean, in the wilderness, there are dark places. There are still some places in the earth we never know about those places, dark places. This is what the Lord said. This is not the arm of the Lord that cut out Rahab and wounded the dra dragon. And the, and, the, and the word of the Lord came to me and it was so powerful it was like Lord asking me in the garden of Gethsemane where I got the revelation for freedom the Lord spoke to me very powerfully and he said was it not to you Alvin Thomas that the arm of the Lord was revealed listen very carefully you will get a breakthrough you will get a release you will see miracles only if you have a revelation you will have to understand who the God you serve is. you cannot underestimate the power and potential of God you need as a believer to have a revelation of who the Lord is and what is the strength of his arm not depending upon your strength depending upon the strength of the Lord somebody shout amen I don't look at my pocket and my purse for all the spending that I'm going to do. Lord, brother, sister, in 2007, there was no committee, there was no church. I was not even sure who will be the believer who will attend the church next week. That was the situation. That's when the Lord spoke and said, do the freedom concert. When I announced the freedom concert, when I announced the fasting prayer, you know what happened? Rain came down and the waters came up. And the whole church was flooded. People left the church. Somebody came and told me, Sir, coming to your church, I get eosinophilia. I need to come and get healed in the church. I am falling sick in the church. And they left the church. Contrary to what God promised, things were happening. But we held on to the promise of God. While we were suffering for 25,000 rupees to meet the needs of the church as the rent for every month, God said, do freedom concert. Get the big lights, get the big sound. The local fellow, he, he completely ditched me at the last moment. He said, sorry, I cannot provide you. Who's your sponsor? Samson? Phillips? I said, no, Jesus Christ. He said, go and ask him. And suddenly I had to call up somebody from Bangalore, all the way from Bangalore, last minute. He comes and he says, I need this many lakhs of rupees for putting the sound. I don't have a single pie on me. I had the guts to believe and say, yes and amen. And you won't believe, today it's history. Today it's history. The revival of worship concerts started there in 2007, January 26, 27, 28. Three days we had awesome time of worship. That's the time when the Lord came down and revealed his glory. And the new era of worship and worship leaders began. Till then there were no worship concerts. Till then revival meetings and worship never happened in Tamil. So many you know, TV channels were writing it down. But the hand of the Lord, through the song, so many people have been saved. Even on the YouTube, you go and see how many hits that, that song has taken. Even though it's been copied and posted by so many people, millions of hits, song from 2007, January Freedom has taken. How? Because we believe and trusted the Lord. That's the way the Lord works. And he said, he, was it not you? Was it not you, the arm of the Lord? Many times we forget who we are. This is the prayer of Zion. This is the people of Zion. They're calling out to the Lord. Lord, please come. Let's read Isaiah 52 and verse 10. The Lord will lay bare his holy arm in the sight of all the nations. And all the ends of the earth will see the salvation of our God. You see, it is not the hand, there is a difference between the hand of the Lord and the arm of the Lord. Listen, hand is the palm of your hand. The Lord has engraven you in the palm of his hand. This is what the Bible says. But to lift up a weight, your palm is not enough. The arm gives you the strength. The weight that you can lift is directly proportional to the power in the arms that you have. The more the power in your arms, the more the weight that you lift. It is not in the hand, it is in the arm. It is in the shoulders that you carry the weight. It is in the shoulder joints, it is in the arm. This is the muscle that carries the weight that has the power to give the punch. 
this is the arm that is so powerful that is why when we were designing uh, the beautiful uh, uh, design they promised for this month uh, we we had a contention we were looking some of my designers they gave me a picture of the hand of the lord with the wound of the lord but then the lord corrected me through some saints of god through some children in our church who said is it not just the, the arm of the lord is it it's not the palm of the lord it's the arm of the lord the arm of the lord that carried the shoulders the carry the shoulders that carry the cross that is the shoulder that is the arm that the lord is going to do mighty miracle somebody shout amen you see salvation your comfort comes from the palm of your lord somebody said amen imagine alvin thomas has this strength the arm of the lord carries the entire weight of the whole earth not just our earth he holds the sun the moon the stars the galaxies on his shoulders he plays somebody shout amen. amen problem is we see god in a very poor light we minimize god we put him inside a box and say lord please give me 10000 rupees the god who holds the entire earth the whole universe on his shoulders he's he's more than enough i tell you he's all powerful he can do it for you we will read isaiah 53 and verse 1 who has believed our message and to whom has the arm of the lord been revealed i would like to interchange these two sentences this way to whom is the arm of the lord revealed who has believed our report you understand what i'm trying to say those who have a revelation of the arm of the lord will believe the report of the lord there has to be some zeal in you this morning you know why because all along you have been losing but today there is somebody who says i am going to give you victory because my outstretched arm is going to be stretched forth towards you in a boxing championship there is somebody who gives a bow who gives a death blow and the next woman you know the victor's hand is raised sometimes you look at people i tell you i was terrified about people about what people think about me in the recent past i made the mistake of pleasing people but today in jerusalem the lord told me do not fear people fear only me if moses had been pleasing the people they would have sat back in egypt because the people said let's go back to egypt he would have turned and got but moses kept stepping forward because the arm of the lord was going before him isaiah 62 and verse 8 the lord has sworn by his right hand and by his mighty arm never again will i give you grain as food for your enemies and never again will foreigners drink the new wine for which you have toiled the arm of the lord says uh, he has sown he has taken oath hey my right hand i tell you my right hand in the name of my right hand in the name of the in the power of my arm i am going to deliver you from the enemy nothing will be stolen from you the arm of the lord will fight for you somebody shout amen, amen. the corn will not be stolen the meat from you will not be stolen and the sons of the stranger shall not drink thy wine for which thou hast labored your labor will not go in vain whatever the lord has given you nobody can steal it from you there will be no more distress because the lord is going to reveal the strength of his arm and first of all number 1 write it down you will have salvation from the arm of the lord isaiah 33 and verse 2 lord be gracious to us we long for you be our strength every morning our salvation in time of distress this morning the arm of the lord the salvation of the lord is going to be stretched forth towards you you are no ordinary people there is no one on earth like you that is so special to god you are god's very special child of god to whom has the arm of the lord been revealed of all the nations god has chosen you and me to reveal the power of the arm of the lord the arm of the lord is the arm of elijah and that is why when elijah stretched forth his arm heavens brought down fire that is why when uh, when moses stretched forth his hand hailstones came from heaven because the arm of the lord became the arm of the servant of god today i tell you in the name of jesus from today when you stretch forth your arm every demon and every evil spirit will tremble you as a precious jewel lot to give up i be a fool you are my all in
Jesus Lamb Worthy is your name Come on people, everybody lift your hands Taking my sin, my cross, my shame Rising again, I bless your name You are my all in oh. When I fall, when I fall down You pick me up When I am dry, you fill my cup You are my all in oh. speak deliverance in the name of the Lord I speak salvation through the arm of the Lord I speak signs and wonders through the arm of the Lord I speak a great miracle in the name of the arm of the Lord with an outstretched arm you will save your people See, eh, Allah, see, I am the Lord thy God. I will stretch forth my hands and I will rescue you. I will pick you from the bottomless pit and I will place you on the mountain top. I will lift you up on the rock. You will glorify my name. You will be a toast and a testimony for the nations. I will make you a mighty nation. Balakada si adaranda se, lahal adaram darabase, liban daradana se. Thank you, Father. We worship you. Thank you, Father. We adore you. Thank you, Father. We thank you. Thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for this wonderful revelation of the arm of the Lord. Lord, I pray this month we'll see miracles of the miracles. Lord, even as we fast and pray, we give you, we pray that you will give us the grace to fast and pray and stand in the gap for our church and the ministry. We pray for signs and wonders from today. We glorify your name, O oh Father God. Glorify your name, O oh Father God. Thank you for all this that you have spoken to us. Give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. God's people said, Amen. ஜீவனற்று போன உங்கள் வாழ்க்கையை ஜீவ ஊற்றாக மாற்ற தேவனின் சுவாசம் ஒன்று மட்டுமே வழி என்பதை கண்டறிந்து தேவ கரத்தை கொண்டு சுகங்களை பெற்றுத்தரும் உங்கள் அடைக்கலம்தான் இந்த மாபெரும் ஊழியம் உங்களுக்காகவே திறப்பின் வாசலில் நின்று செபிப்பதற்காக காத்திருக்கிறார் உங்கள் அன்பு சகோதரர் போதகர் ஆல்வின் தாமஸ் அவர்கள் உங்கள் ஜெப தேவைகள் மற்றும் சாட்சிகளை எழுதி அனுப்ப வேண்டிய முகவரி சகோதரர் ஆல்வின் தாமஸ் ரூகா ஊழியங்கள் எண் நூற்றி ஐம்பத்தி ஐந்து மூன்றாவது தளம் பெப்சன் கோர்ட் ஆற்காடு சாலை கோடம்பாக்கம் சென்னை இருபத்தி நான்கு தொலைபேசி எண்கள் பூஜ்ஜியம் நான்கு நான்கு இரண்டு மூன்று ஏழு இரண்டு எட்டு எட்டு இரண்டு இரண்டு ஒன்பது எட்டு எட்டு நான்கு ஏழு ஒன்று பூஜ்ஜியம் ஏழு 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 ஜீரோ டபுள் ஃபோர் டூ த்ரீ செவன் டூ டபுள் எயிட் டபுள் டூ நைன் டபுள் எயிட் ஃபோர் செவன் ஒன் ஜீரோ ட்ரிபிள் செவன் இமெயில் முகவரி ஆல்வின் தாமஸ் அட் ரூஹா டாட் ஐஎன் நீங்கள் இதுவரை பார்த்து ரசித்தது ரூஹா ஊழியங்களின் தயாரிப்பு ரூஹா ஊழியங்கள் நீங்கள் சுவாசித்துக் கொண்டிருப்பது இறைவனின் மூச்சு காற்று